So people have been thinking about these types of systems for quite a while and often list them under the heading of eventual consistency. So eventual consistency turns up, of course, in a lot of distributed databases as well. And I don't like the term too much because it's quite vague. So I want to try and actually break it down into three more concrete properties, and then we can reason about whether our systems satisfy those properties. The first of those three is, I would say, eventual delivery. And what I mean with that is, if I make a change to the data on my phone, for example, and there's a copy of that data set on somebody else's phone, then eventually the change that I make on one device will end up on the other user's device. I don't care too much how that data flows from one device to another. I just wanted to eventually get there. There's no guarantee I can give as to how long it might take, because if my phone is offline, then obviously it's not being going to be able to connect and communicate with the other devices. And so if my phone is offline for several days, that means effectively this communication is delayed by several days. It's like a network with extremely long packet delay. But eventually, still, we can assume that as long as the devices eventually come online, they will be able to communicate. Secondly, the second property is convergence, which I hinted at just now. So convergence more formally means for any two devices, if they have seen the same set of updates, then they must be in the same state. And that is the case even if they saw the updates in a different order. So one user first saw the blue update, then the red update. The other user saw them in the opposite order. But once they've seen, seen those same updates, they should end up in the same state so that we don't have people ending up in inconsistent, with inconsistent data. And thirdly, the third one is just really we want to not lose any data as far as we can in this process. Um, this seems kind of obvious. But you know, if we were allowed to use data, then getting everybody to converge would be easy. We'd just throw away all of the data. So uh, I just put this in for completeness, because it is actually kind of important. So these are the properties I mean with eventual consistency. Let me show you some examples of what this kind of process might look like. So let's say the data now that we have two users who are collaborating on a text document. This could be like a Google Doc, for example, where several people can edit this document independently. And so both users start off with the same document that says, hello, exclamation mark. And now these users make changes, and they make those changes while offline. So the red user changes hello to hello world by adding the word world before the exclamation mark. And the blue user adds a smiley face after the exclamation mark. And these two edits happen independently from each other since they are offline. Then, at some point later, the users come back online, and they exchange their edits. And what we want is everybody to end up in a consistent state. And in this case, we can define quite reasonably what a consistent state looks like, because we want to keep both the insertion of world and the insertion of the smiley face. So a sensible automatic merge of this would be hello world exclamation mark smiley. OK, that seems reasonable. So let me introduce you briefly to an open source project that I've been working on, which does precisely this kind of conflict resolution for people updating data at the same time. It's called AutoMerge. You can find it on GitHub. It's implemented in JavaScript.